Yes, it is the same Drew name you know. Lindsey Agard at Nevada. Larry, his 36th year in the NBA as a player and coach. But more importantly, a proud dad who's had to watch his three sons play high school and college ball from afar via a phone or a laptop. He had a nice offensive rebound, too. I see. On, on that, on, on that. You, don't, you don't do that enough. Yeah. yeah. That's real tough. That's real tough. But he and I have that understanding, you know, and we talk before, you know, every game. We talk after every game. Um, I watch all of his games. I get them on, on, on tape or on film, and I break them down. And sometimes I wear the, the, the coaching hat when I talk to him. Sometimes I wear the dad hat when I talk to him. But we have a really, really good understanding. Uh, after every game, you know, I talk to him. You know, he's, he's able to watch my games if he's not playing. He's able to just critique me and just let me know. Uh, you know what he sees out there. When Larry left the Milwaukee coaching sideline four years ago, he planned on taking a year off to watch his sons play. But when an offer came from the Cavs, followed by LeBron deciding to return home, his boys jumped into action. Larry texted me and said, Dad, you can't sit out. You, know, you can't do it. And I said, uh, hey, man, I'll just keep you posted. So, as soon as I finish with him, my middle son, Texts me, hey dad, it's a no brainer. And then Lindsay texts me, hey pops, you cannot sit out. We definitely told him just, you know, to keep keep following his passion, and just whatever is the next job, uh, just just find one. And it turned out to be Cleveland, so uh, you know, lucky that happened. For the pass across the midcourt circle, down the lane, all the way, reverse dunk. Holy cow, Lindsay Drew. Hey man, you gotta you, you gotta talk to me about that dunk now. Come on now, I mean a reverse dunk. I know you. I know you surprised yourself. <laughs> huh? It was good. Well, okay, it was good, but I think you. I think you surprised yourself. Wow. Huh? <laughs> I know when you saw that that dunk. You know, he told me he jumped out of his seat, he wasn't expecting it, but he, he knows that I'm able to do it, I'm able to do it too. Now in his day, Larry was a very quick point guard, but he says he does not see much pass down from dad to son. I don't see any of my game in Lindsay. I mean, it's, it's so strange. My dad's very like 6'1", you know, so, uh, you know, me playing with him in 2K, you know, he, he, <laughs> he's just a fast little point guard, you know, that, that's what he pretty much just did. I don't think he ever got tired out there either, so that's probably one thing I need to get from him. A couple of growth spurts turned Lindsey from a five guard in high school who sort of liked basketball to a 6'4 defensive-minded two-way guard who now loves it. I th I actually, I thought he was going to be a comedian because he was just so funny. Really? A lot of people said that about him, how funny this kid was. So I just kind of, you know, I just kind of left him alone. I didn't want to push it to the point to where I was kind of forcing him to play. Nah, I was supposed to be a skateboarder and rather be a basketball player, but nah, definitely not a comedian. <laughs> I'll be looking at that Wyoming game and I'll be sending those clips to you. So uh, I'll be talking to you, talking to you in a few days, okay? I'll talk to you later, buddy. Love you, my man.